What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care. It's time for the next episode of the Wind Waker HD Let's Play. And there's a few que- Okay, I didn't want to talk to you. Hold on, hold on. Who even said I- No, I was just rolling past you. Okay. There are other side quests to do on this island, which I just never got around to doing. So I think I'll see if I can complete these now. For example, the deluxe- the picture box thingamajiggy wanted us to find someone who was very lonely who was going to send a very unsuccessful love letter to whoever they like. And that happens to be Mr. Mario Man himself. Unfortunately, he takes FOREVER to get to the post box. Seriously, forever! And if you go anywhere near him, he stops in his tracks and stares at you. So you really just have to be patient with this one. I know, being a photographer sucks, doesn't it? Oh well, I'm sure it's not too bad. So just gotta stand here pretty much. You don't really want him to notice you. We're just gonna creepily take a picture of him at the right moment with this. What do we have in our album? Oh god! I remember you! I think I'll keep that there just for the hell of it. That's gonna scare me in the future though, I bet you. Not that it already didn't, but yes. Mr. Mario Man, please do show up. Hello, Mr. Mario Man, what are you doing, I wonder? That looks perfect. I will take another because yes. There we go. Okay. That is all perfect. And you may have noticed that I don't think it wait, let me have a look at my album again. No, there's no there's no sort of badges in the or no stamps in the top left. Later on we'll be able to get badges in the top left, which will actually help us with another collectible thing that we can optionally do in the future, and I'll point those out when the time comes, but for now, I will send you these pictures of mine. I will give you that one. Show this picture. Oh ho, now that, now this is a finely snubbed pictograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him though, for he reminds me of myself in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall probably take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. What else have you got for me? Very well, next is my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and surprises at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instant of fe pure fear on his the individual's face in a photograph. Or pictograph, even. So tell me, do you think you can complete this task, young sir? I can do that. But first, I think I'm gonna delete one of my pictures. Yeah, that one. Seems like a waste. Goodbye. Oh god! That guy will never cease to scare me. We need a name for him. Huh. So, as for the horribly timid guy, we want to go upstairs here. And we're up here is a little cafe. Oh yeah. Didn't show, it. Didn't show this off before, did I? Whoops. But up here you will find... Hey look, it's a little, little, little Hello. Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. Just feel free to look around. I'm like half a head smaller than you. Okay. Maybe a full head small... It's not... Shut up, man. You know I'm self-conscious about that. Now, this is the guy that is always struck with fear. So, what we want to do? Hit something. Okay, please. Hit something. And then, you see he's panicking, he's in- oh god, no! Ugh, there we go, fear! Can I have more fear? No, I, I messed it up, let's try again. There we go, look at him, look at that fear! Oh, oh stop looking the other way! There we go, no! You, stop that- oh, come on! There we go, no, that's you getting back to normal, let me try- Right, I bet none of those are gonna work, let me try again. Oh. No, no, it breaks my heart. Both of their fathers are desperate. Great. I just, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to find your fears. Okay, please. You, please. There we go. Ah. I bet it wants my whole, it wants his whole, I bet it's going to want his whole body, isn't it? Hold on, hold on, let me see. That one, no, that one, nope, nope, nope. That one looks good, I guess. Okay. Whew! That was an effort and a half. Now let's go back. 
Yo, city ono, bro, city bro, bro. I can't see your face. You must search for the purple hide. Knife for God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I'm supposed to show it to you like that. There we go. Number two. Fear. A horn. This is a finely blah blah blah. I cannot complain, young sir. You have a passed in a most admirable manner. Say, is it me or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, young sir. And this means you have passed my second test. I shall probably take this picture graph from you and use it most efficiently. What's the second one? Or third one, even? Very good. Next is, at long last, my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. Somewhere in town is a couple, a man and a woman whose hearts are secretly filled with the thoughts of the other, and yet for some reason, for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief, furtive glance at of the other, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this, tra this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town and my own desire to help these two poor souls, I shall become Cupid! Archer of Love, or Archer of Love. These two are timid burglars in the house of love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking their furtive thoughts. And young Master Dads, if and when, hope beyond hope, you manage to complete this third task, then you should be my number one pupil. Oh ho 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 ho, does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Okay, that's simple enough. If you have patience, which I don't really. Because, basically, this is one half of the couple. Just, you know, fair enough, she just sits where she, she just, you know, she just stands in the spot, and that's all fine. However, the other half is this guy. You see how he walks incredibly slowly? You go near him and he stops. Yeah, well he has to walk all the way down here, up through this arch thing, up this hill, Past the potion shop and that house which we haven't been in yet. Past this little moody guy. Up this little hill here. Up over around this corner. And then for about five seconds they look at this point. You want to know how long this is going to take? Let me put things into perspective for you. The whole time it's taken me to do one lap. He's in barely, he is barely halfway down the hill. Ugh. I do not have the patience for this. But while I'm here, I might as well just get rid of these. Ugh. Why do I even... I have pictures of old... No, don't release this one. Just... Ugh. If someone was to just steal this pictograph and look at the pictures I have, they would be pretty creeped out. And that was the same picture three times, but zoomed in a little bit more each time. Now, every time you come inside and outside again, time in this world restarts. So Mario will go back to the post box, and that guy will stand at the top of that hill again. I know. Fun, is it not? So let's talk to Elvis. That magical dance that changes day into night and night into day If I could only recall the rhythm, oh the rhythm that I could dance perfectly Yeah, now I will show you my baton Oh, sorry Am I supposed to... There, there we go Uh, uh, cha, uh, uh, cha That's it, that's it That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall Oh, oh, I can feel it, I can feel it, guy Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. Yeah! Yeah! Boo! Oh! Except, you know, your rhythm is so bad that I messed it up myself. But there we go. And with that, we learn... You learned the song of passing. That's it, that's it! And it's perfect! I'm perfect now, bring on the night! Hey! What's the matter? Nothing happened! Nothing at all! Why? I don't know, but I don't really care because I don't want to go passing time right now because otherwise it will restart this whole walking thing again. I know. I'm not really patient enough for this. There's Mario. Where's Buddy Boy? Dude, where, where are you? Uh, there you are. Why are you so slow? Ah! Oh, please, move faster! Uh, come on, you're almost there. Not at all, really. Oh, actually, he's, he's going kind of fast now. And look, I like how both... Wow, Mary, you do go slow. Seriously, that is horribly slow. Okay, he's starting to go up the hill. So I guess I better get into position. 
Okay, here it comes. For a few seconds, they're literally just gonna... Look at each other for a couple of moments, and there we go. Shh, the girl on the left looked a little bit stoned for a minute. There we go, now she looks petrified. But that's all we need to gee. That's all we need to gee. Yes, that's exactly the words I was trying to say the entire time. Yes. Okay, so hello, sir. In this town is a cover. Ha, ah, I know. I just, I thought I found them. And I did. But I'm so used to just talking to you that there we go. This is what I want. Oh, this has finally snapped. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Daz. I shall probably take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all of the tasks I sent to you. My doubt about you having have all cleared up, I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Daz. And no assistant of mine will be seen going around taking pictographs in monochrome, not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you with this picture box. You got a deluxe picture box, which I accidentally almost spoiled a little bit earlier when I said deluxe and then stopped myself. A gift from Lenzo, commemorating your becoming his assistant. He could take color pictographs. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Until now, you can only take black and white pictographs, but now you can take color pictographs, allowing you to show the world as if it was meant to be seen. Now, go out there and snap pictographs. Snap them in color for me, for all the years I spend unable to do so. Fulfill my life's ambition. Go to it, Daz. I will do, right after I delete that one picture which is completely useless to me. You might see there was actually, while looking at the album, I can press A to put it in a tingle bottle. So along with normal, you know, tingle bottles and sending messages, you can also do pictures, black and white or colour. Though obviously, people generally prefer the colour ones, for obvious, obvious reasons. Now what is wrong with you, sir? Will I be able to help you? Are you even a sir? I'm sorry, but I cannot tell. Hmm! Nobody understands how I feel! Do me a favour, beat it! What a jerk! How did he manage that? Right under my nose! I guess he is an alright guy. Hello? You pesky little brat! Nobody understands how I feel! Do you hear me? Nobody! Not you! Not anybody! Wait. Are you trying to tell me you do understand how I feel? Completely. I like that was I couldn't care less on the other one. Oh really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of and show it to me. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favourite thing, then you win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the pictograph. Okay. I will, I will do that, but there are some gossiping ladies here which I really want to hear. She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumour has it she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewellery. Hmm? Now just what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adults' ears. We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man. So shoo! Oh yes. Far too young. An adult. You're far, you're far too young to understand your adult language. I am sure. You know, just insulting another innocent civilian around you. Welcome to society, people. Welcome. Now, what I'm going to do for the final part of this episode is I'm going to go and get my joy pendants, put them on R, and give them to Mrs. Marie, or at least show one to her. My dear, that's a joy pendant! To tell the truth, I love jewellery above all else. And that, why that is the most extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes! I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. Only one. To tell the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know what, who put you to, up to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ever ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. You got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. I, I will certainly do that. In the next episode, since I better as, might as well leave it off here. There are a couple of other things I could do in full, but I think I will give it a little, 
I think I'll give it a little of a break first. So yes, I'm going to go back to where this episode started to bring it all round full circle. Ah, isn't that nice? So, I think I will leave it off here. Cat eyes link looking to the left. Or his right. Mm, my name's been Daz. You don't really care and I'll see you in a bit.